Hello comic book guys and gals and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. This wonderfully witty fellow is your host, Bill Miller. Super excited today because this is our 2021 Chase List video. These are the 21 books that we will be chasing in 2021. No honorable mentions like last year. That's a little bit of cheating. Just 21 books. I didn't bring any or carry any over from last year. Not that I won't still be looking for those, but I wanted a new, fresh list from which to work. So without further ado, let's get to exploring the books that we're going to try to track down and hunt in 2021. The first one is Savage Tales number one. Super excited about that one. I do have a copy. It's about a mid-grade, and I'm looking for a high-end or high-grade copy of that. That, of course, is an early appearance of Conan, the first appearance of Man-Thing, and a super iconic cover. Number two is Tales of the Zombie number one. Again, an iconic cover. Both of those magazine-sized, Simon Garth, Tales of the Zombie, number one. Number three is Silver Surfer, number one. First appearance in his own title. Very pricey book. Some of these are definitely a reach. Um, there's no telling that I'll be able to get any of these books, but it at least gives me something to shoot for, a way to organize any purchasing that I may do. Number four is Shock Suspense Stories number five. Um, always been a big fan of EC, and I'm getting more and more into collecting EC uh, as time kind of goes on. I like all of their titles, really, but particularly the horror and the war titles. Number five, speaking of the war titles, is Frontline Combat number one. So the first issue in that seminal war series, Frontline Combat number one. Number six is Goon number one. Definitely a big fan of that title. Big fan of Eric Powell's. Um, it's a, a lot of these books are pricey, really all of them, but, uh, that one certainly more expensive than some may think. And that's the Avatar, uh, published version. Number seven, Crime Suspense Stories, number 17. Very famous or infamous cover. That is the Suicide Cover. So, goes without saying that's an expensive one, but it'd be a fun one to track down. Number eight is Two-Fisted Tales, number 28. So that's the companion war title to Frontline Combat. And number 28 has a great explosion cover with a tank on it. And once upon a time, many, 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 many years ago, I used to be on a tank. So that's the reason that I want to try to track that one down. Gorgeous Harvey Kurtzman cover. Number nine, Vampirella number one. Uh, Vampirella is a great character, but more importantly, that's just an iconic Frank Frazetta cover. And so that in and of itself is enough reason to want to track that one down. Number 10, Tales from the Crypt number 27. Uh, Ultimately, I'd love to have all of the EC comics, but just taking a look initially at some that I wanted to get, that is a classic guillotine cover, and so that one made the list. Number 11, Dime Press number 4. And that is the first appearance of Hellboy. Nothing in the Magazine. I think it's a fanzine, nothing in the fanzine, but an early prototype cover appearance of Hellboy. The first. 
Number 12, Vault of Horror, number 17. Again, an EC book and a wonderful werewolf cover. So out of, out of all of the, the classic monsters or universal monsters, you know, Wolfman, Werewolf would probably be my favorite. And so it would be pretty cool to start collecting werewolf covers, at least for titles that I'm initially interested in. Number 13, All-Star Western number 10. All-Star Western number 10 is the very first appearance of Jonah Hex. And I, I'm working on collecting uh, Jonah Hex in his own title. And so it would certainly be at the top of my list to get his first appearance. Number 14 is Crime Suspense Stories number 20. And that is the infamous hanging cover. Now, there are two hanging covers. Um, the other one is, I think, is Shock Suspense Stories. Um, it might be one of the horror titles, but this one is the more famous of the two and the one that I would prefer. It's a closer up shot versus a more distant shot in the other one. Number 15, Silver Surfer number four. Classic Silver Surfer versus Thor cover. Um probably your prototypical cover key, right? Number 16 would be Frontline Combat, number 15. That is a beautiful Wally Wood cover, so I would definitely be excited to have that one. Number 17, Shock Suspense Stories, number 6. Uh, probably the most infamous and most expenses of most expensive of the shock suspense stories line. That is the one with the murderous clan uh, on the cover. Number 18 is Tales from the Crypt, number 46. That is also a werewolf cover. It's the last Tales from the Crypt, and it's a beautiful Jack Davis cover. So I'd love to track that one down. Number 19, Weird Science Fantasy number 29. Gorgeous, gorgeous Frank Frazetta cover. I would love to add that one into the collection. Number 20 is San Diego Comic-Con number two. And that is the first full appearance of Hellboy. So, a bit pricey and higher grade, like pretty much all of these, but it'd be fun to try to track down. There don't seem to be a whole lot of them floating around. And lastly, at number 21, we have Crime Suspense Stories number 22. Probably the most infamous EC comic book of all time, and that is the classic decapitation cover. Very expensive, um, but hey, a brother can dream, right? So those are my top 21 chase books for 2021. Let me know which ones you think are cool, which ones you think are lame. Um, I hope you enjoyed hearing about them. I certainly hope to track some of these down and share them with you at the end of the year. Um, if you would like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you get alerted as soon as I release new content. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.